Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making bolognese sauce. Grab a plate, cause it's the all free whole food plant-based cooking show. Today's show is brought to you in part by Wellbean. Beans are an essential part of a whole food plant-based diet and should feature prominently in our daily menu. We love finding new and convenient ways to get our servings in. Wellbean is a tasty and wholesome way to get half a serving of beans in every bar. Wellbean bars are vegan and gluten-free, with no preservatives and no added salt, sugar, or oil. Each bar is made only from an assortment of beans, fruits, nuts, and seeds. As a special deal for our viewers, follow the link in the description and use the code TRYWELLBEAN5 to save $5 off a variety pack on your first order, because life is better with beans. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today we are going to make a bolognese sauce. And if you're not familiar with what a bolognese sauce is, it's a sauce that goes over spaghetti or some kind of thick noodle, but it's not a tomato-based sauce. There's tomato in it, but it's mainly all of these delicious, wonderful vegetables. And it is amazingly delicious and you're gonna love it. Uh, before we jump in there, I wanna give a special thanks to the Miller family. They reached out to me and just I sent a really wonderful message. So, hi Max, hi Walter, and hi Lily. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We have one large red onion that we're gonna start sauteing. So get that in your pan. And we're gonna saute this for about five minutes. And if your pan starts to stick a little bit, if you notice, I didn't put any oil in the pan because it's okay without it for just a little bit. But if it starts sticking, I always keep a little bit of water on hand. And all you have to do is sprinkle just a little bit of water over those onions and they will come right off. So we're just gonna wait till these are just sauteed down just a little bit and then we'll start adding some of our other ingredients. Okay, so our onions are done cooking. If you wanna take a look at what they look like, at the five minute point. And if you notice, uh, all of my vegetables are cut in a really fine dice because typically this sauce has, it, it's full of meat and like ground sausage and that kind of thing. So we are kind of mocking that texture. And the main thing that we're gonna use to kind of make that texture is mushrooms. And that's one of the next ingredients going in. I'm gonna to toss in my minced garlic. This is three cloves of minced garlic. And then all of our mushrooms here. So this is an eight ounce package of mushrooms. And these are just uh, baby Bellas, but you can use whatever, whatever kind of mushroom you, you like. Just the regular old white mushroom, but mushrooms will do just fine. And we're gonna saute those for the same, between five and 10 minutes until the, the mushrooms have leaked out all of that moisture. Because once they get cooking, that moisture starts seeping out and that will help things, you know, to keep from sticking on your pan. And uh, they'll be done once that moisture is absorbed back into the mushrooms. Okay, our mushrooms are done cooking. And if you see how they've already you know let go of all that moisture and the moisture is already reabsorbed back in there okay so now we're going to add our carrots and celery so this is one and a half cups of finely diced carrots about two large carrots the same with the celery one and a half cups and then two tablespoons of tomato paste and that's going to give it that really nice rich tomatoey flavor and then a half a cup of white wine. And this is just a, a, a dry white wine, just a blanc. Um, and now we're just gonna cook this until uh, that wine is kind of cooked into it because that cooking for about five minutes will cook off any of the alcohol. Um, if you don't want to use wine, you can always just use a little bit of vegetable broth. That will be just fine. And maybe about a teaspoon of some type of vinegar, just to give it that, that kind of uh, tart punch. Today's show is brought to you in part by Complement. As healthy as it is, did you know there are a handful of missing or hard to get nutrients from a plant-based diet? 
The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why I take Complement Plus every day. Complement Plus contains the eight critical nutrients in dosages optimized specifically for plant-based eaters. Plus, they're completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use the code WFPB15 at checkout to save 15% off of your order. There we go. Okay, this is all ready to go. All of that, the wine and the tomato sauce is really well distributed and cooked back in there. Now we can add our other ingredients. And if you want the, uh, all of the ingredient list, there'll be a printable version of the recipe in the link in the details below. So here we have a 28 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes and these are crushed that we're gonna add to our sauce. And that fire roasted tomato is really gonna add a nice deep flavor to it. And then we're gonna add, uh, this is two teaspoons of lemon juice and one teaspoon of lemon zest. And that just kind of lifts the flavor a little bit, gives it an interesting tartness. Then we have one cup of vegetable broth. And then these are the spices, typically, these spices are not added to a bolognese sauce because those flavors are already in the Italian sausage that is usually in this kind of a sauce. So we're gonna use the spices that would typically go in Italian sausage to flavor our sauce. I have a half a teaspoon of crushed fennel. So fennel comes in a seed that you'll have to crush lightly by yourself. We'll sprinkle that in there. If you don't crush the seed, uh, all of that flavor doesn't come out, and if you get a whole seed and bite it, it's just a really intense flavor, so you really do wanna get them crushed. Then we have half a teaspoon of oregano and half a teaspoon of basil, and then we have two bay leaves, and then we're gonna put just a sprinkle of nutmeg. This is one of the little secret flavors in there, but just a little bit, let me get it come out there because nutmeg is a very, very powerful spice. You don't want to overdo it with that one. And then I always like to put some crushed pepper in there or cracked pepper. Okay, so now we're gonna lower our heat to low and we're gonna let this simmer. We're gonna let it simmer for at least, at least a half an hour, okay? because as this simmers, all of those flavors just keep developing and deepening, and you'll have a really flavorful sauce. If you don't cook it for very long, it'll, it'll probably be a little bit watery, so at least a half an hour. So we're gonna get this cooking down, and I'll let you see when it's finished. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. All right, everybody, our sauce is done. If you wanna come in and take a look to see how thick this is, oh, and it smells amazing. So all that's left to do here, we gotta take our little bay leaves out. You wanna make sure you get those out. That would not be pleasant to chomp into the, one of those. Okay. And this is just optional. A lot of bolognese sauce, uh, they use a heavy creamer or something like that in the end just to make it a little bit of creamy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make our own little oat milk because oat milk, when it's heated, 
it thickens just like a cream would. Okay, so I've got two tablespoons of rolled oats and a half a cup of water. We're just gonna blend this up until it's milky. Okay, there you go, guys. It is as simple as that. And because our sauce is still boiling hot, when we put this oat milk in there, because it looks, you know, it looks kind of watery, right? But when you put oat milk, I'm just gonna try a little first. I'm not gonna use it all. I'm gonna stir it in. As you can see, it's already, it's already absorbing it. And those oats will soak up any of that liquid. Look at that, that is beautiful. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna leave the sediment in the thing because it doesn't grind the oats completely. Okay, so there's your sauce. And I already bo uh, boiled up some pasta here. This is just some linguine. Uh, typ typical bolognese, you know, they like to use the, the thicker, wider noodle. So like fettuccine, linguine, those kind of noodles. And I did it a little bit al dente because you are putting these noodles in the sauce. So they will continue to cook a little bit in that really hot sauce. Just gonna stir a little bit in there. Oh gosh, my mouth is watering. This smells so good. And I absolutely love pasta. Okay, so all that's left is the taste. So I'll meet you at the table with a bowl for my spaghetti. Okay, everybody. Let's get a taste. Oh my goodness. The smells in this kitchen, whoo, yummy. Okay, here we go, we're gonna roll some pasta. Mm. Oh, so many flavors. Mm. Mm. And the texture, the brightness of that sauce over the silky noodles. Mm. This is absolutely the perfect pasta loaded with veggie, veggies, super healthy for you. You're gonna love it. So be sure to give this a like and I'll see you next week for another great recipe.